guys and welcome to my channel i'm sarah if you didn't know that and if you are returning hey so today we're going to talk about star girl fourth episode of this first season of star girl i am going to say this once and for all like i like this show like i was very skeptical about it for the first two episodes but yeah oh and if this all my hand waving annoys you i'm italian we talk with our hands so okay so this episode starts with, okay, we get the backstory for Yolanda. And we've seen her in the first two episodes, and she just seems like a loner girl. Obviously, it's a chip on her shoulders, but we don't know why. And she doesn't talk to anybody, she doesn't really have any friends, and she's just, you know, by herself all the time. But we find out that, basically, she had a boyfriend named Henry. He asked to see a sext as you know younger kids call it basically a picture of her body he and she unfortunately you know sent one to him and then we find out that a mean girl who obviously wanted henry for herself somehow got the photos and sent it to the whole school and basically it made her a piranha and her family disowned her basically treats her like shit because of it and nobody likes her and even the girl who did all this despicable stuff to her treats her like a slut and calls her a slut and it's it, it made me so sad i just i hate what this girl did to this girl like i don't understand why girls do this and i don't understand how they get the mentality to be so mean to each other like like where does this mentality of girls being mean to each other come from for me personally like honestly most of my life i've had more girlfriends than guy friends and i've had a few tiffs along the way with some girls i think it comes from jealousy and i think that it stems from that i think the girls obviously feel that at a young age and i think it's definitely more prominent with yeah i mean oh my god i felt so bad for her like and i mean i love that Courtney is trying to want to reach out and be friends with Yolanda because I think a lot of people probably don't see her as somebody who is worth it, which is also sad, but, you know, and I, and I understand that Yolanda, she thinks that she needs to be alone, she thinks that she needs to just be not bothered by people, and I mean, you can obviously tell that she thinks that because, you know, she's hurt and she doesn't trust people because of what's happened to her, and it's sad. And the fact that her family doesn't even, like, respect her because of it. Like, I get that she made a mistake. But, like, ugh, yeah. And so, through learning her backstory, we find that Courtney is trying to get her to join her Justice Society of America team. And, can, and tries to convince her throughout this episode to join. And tries to get her to, you know, try on the costume, which at first looks like a sweatshirt on her. But form fits to her in beautiful CGI magic, TV magic I should say, and they, <laughs> oh man, they go on this like rookie mission trying to go to the hospital to see Brainiac and find out if Henry's there. So Courtney's only been doing this for a week and she hasn't really been even trained, so she's trying to train somebody when she hasn't even been trained herself. It's obviously like a naive, very, very naive situation for both of them, so you know, it's, it's, definitely interesting seeing them like work together the fact that she got into that room the hospital room was pretty like impressive honestly of the school comes into Brainiac's room and plays the violin which i found at first i was like this has to be like some villain like thing like they wouldn't show us that if it wasn't just and i'm definitely definitely interested to see what the what Courtney finds because she says that she's going to investigate that because it's very interesting so her family is ridiculous she basically tells Courtney she can't be wildcat because she needs to be okay with being Yolanda for a while she doesn't really feel like she's been Yolanda in a long time ashamed of herself and she didn't feel good about herself which is completely understandable it's obviously hard for Courtney to accept that but you know you know we've all been 
we've all had those situations in our lives where, you know, we didn't feel like ourselves, we made mistakes that, you know, we wish we could take back and it just makes us doubt ourselves. So basically after, you know, her telling Courtney all this, she goes home and she talks to her family finally and she basically like says that she's not gonna, you know, apologize anymore and that she made a mistake and that she's owning up to it and that she wants to just be herself and she wants to move on and she's hoping that they'll help her do that. And of course, Okay, her family's horrible. They basically just tell her like, you can't come back from this. Like you've disrespected yourself, you've, you've disrespected our family and you just can't come back from this. And I was just like, you know that she's your daughter, right? From a viewer's perspective, I saw that the writing of this was to push her to become Wildcat. I don't love how they did that, but I do appreciate what they had to do. I wish they would have done it in a more positive way. Like, I mean, I get like that, you know, these things have to happen in order to push characters for towards their destiny, but family, her family's horrible. Like I felt so bad for her in this episode. Brittany really got her to like open up and stuff and say that she really trusted Henry and that she, you know, I don't know who plays that girl Yolanda, but she is good like she made me feel so many emotions in this episode and she made me feel so bad for her and i just no girl or woman should have to deal with that and no girl should have to feel like that you know she made a mistake you know i mean i don't understand like why these things happen and i don't understand why a family would treat her this way after everything that she's been through i mean don't they understand she made a mistake just oh my god i could talk about this for hours but but yeah like i mean the fact that this pushed her, her family pushed her to become Wildcat. It's awesome. I cannot wait to see Courtney and her like fighting bad guys and you know, I cannot wait. I'm really excited for that. The wizard's wife is leaving town. Pat Dugan, you know, Courtney's stepfather, he, towards the end of the episode, Pat's at the same junkyard that, she, that he's, he was at in the beginning of the episode where he was trying to get parts for his robot of course, and he finds the wizard's wife's cat and the cat leads him to see the wizard's wife's car. And so basically it looks like some villain, possibly the masked villain that we saw in the beginning of this episode, or maybe even Icicle, who knows, like maybe drove her off the road and crashed the car, maybe killed her and took a bunch of the stuff, which might may have included the wizard's wand. So because the wizard may have given his kid the wand, so, wait, so yeah, I mean, this was a really good episode, I'm really enjoying the show a lot, actually, it's kind of funny how the first two episodes, I was like, okay, this is fine, this is, this is great, you know, it's, it's, but the, this one and the last one, oh my gosh, like, I feel very, positive and excited and ready and happy and this show is getting better so yeah those are my thoughts i really enjoyed this episode let me know what do you guys think don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me sarah your girl uh that was really obnoxious i'm sorry um and yeah don't forget to like this video if you like the show if you like my videos please 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 or just don't subscribe and just whatever who cares anymore oh gosh i'm hot my bra is not good right now okay but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video Tiddly.